soul family, my soul tribe, light workers, star seeds out there, friends. I missed you all. I am back. Uh, so this is my new location. I still have the same bed spread and Sandy somewhere in the background. So um, before we get started with the readings, you know that I always do a mini meditation with my, of course, uh, singing bowl. So of course, I'm going to invoke, uh, you know, my higher self, spirit, the universe, my fairies, uh, my archangels, my angels, earth, mother earth, also to sustain the healing and uh, the singing bowl and the readings. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to invoke uh, my ancestors. So I will be clearing you and uh, just uh, take a deep breath in. And whatever it is that's bothering you in the daytime, whatever it is, not just in the daytime, but on an everyday basis, if there's something that's like really heavy or stagnant, okay, and you just need to relax, uh, just close your eyes if you want and listen to the singing bowl. So let's get started. on the side for a second and i just want to say a big thank you to all of you uh, to that have been uh, sending love to my mom um who have been praying for my mom or my family a big thank you my mom says thank you very much and she's still praying for you uh, three times a day here on youtube and also on the collective and yes she has her good days but she also has her bad days and so again she thanks you for uh, letting her lean on you sometimes too so when she really needs it and so she asked me to say that to you and uh, so I am relaying the message so um, we want to send you if you want to just take a second we want to send you um, a hug a virtual hug to everybody out there uh, close your eyes if you like and you don't have to and uh, just feel from the heart chakra my mom and I Joannina and I are sending all of you out there a hug of love peace um, and um, happiness and also um, light. Again, I want to thank everybody here. For those of you that have been supporting me on this journey, um, as much as you, I have your back, I know that all of you have my back. And uh, so again, a big thank you to all of you YouTubers and also those of you that are in my community for 27 years. Thank you very much for all being here. And now I know that a lot of you have been waiting for the readings, so let's get started with the readings. I'll be right back. Hi Aries, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 1st to the 7th of 2021. How are you all doing, my beautiful Aries? Hashtag Aries Nations is in the house. I always like to say that. I hope that you're doing great. I really hope that you're all doing well. And the Aries full moon was amazing. I hope you enjoyed the feeling of it and um and anyways i'm very happy to be here to do your reading uh, this evening so now let's get started right away i have a new deck that i'm introducing as an oracle and it's uh by the ascendant masters so we're going to take a look at that then i will give you a card for your animal totem of the week and what archangel is with you and um also 
what is the message and then after that i will give you your challenge card what it is that you need to surrender to and i will give you your angel numbers and after that we'll start with your reading all right so let's look at this together beautiful so aries you got retreat into nature retreat into nature and this is the green man so we're going to take a look here at what is the additional messages of this card for all of you okay so the additional message for the meanings for this card is your desires or decision to take a vacation are valid you have a life purpose involving i am event I, sorry, eventermentalism or nature. Work with pure flower essence, crystals, plants, spirit medicine, or other natural healing methods. Commune with animals, trees, fairies, and other spirits of nature. And it says here, you've been indoors too long and you need a refreshing break from stressful conditions. No matter how busy you are, there's always time to pause for fresh air. This card comes to you in today with a strong message for you to spend time alone outdoors the healing effects of nature will revive your energy and outlook and you return to home or work with new ideas and a fresh a fresh perspective think of your nature retreat as an investment that will yield huge dividends all right so this is your message retreat into nature next we're going to take out your animal totem cards see what's what animal spirit is with you or your animal totem and what is the message and what archangel is with you this week for aries you got two so let's look at them first one you got is ego Okay, the eagle and this Archangel Book P and says seize opportunities courageous courageously. So seize opportunities opportunities courageously. Okay. So this is the eagle. And then you've got the bat energy. Archangel Dor Dor Dorin K. Archangel Dorin K. And the messages it says see through illusions into truth. See through illusions into truth. So you've got the bat and eagle. This is our, your animal totem for the week. Now we're going to see what is your challenge of the week. Surrender to worry. Oh, sorry. Surrender to wonder and awe. Aries, open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in your in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So surrender to wonder and awe is your next card. And now we're going to take out the angel numbers for you. See what are the angel numbers that are with you this week. with number five i am the, i am adaptable aries flexibility is your forte when life throws you a curveball you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors so you got number five the next card you got is number 16 i am perceptive 16 
Aries, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. Um, a wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. 16. The next one you got is number 20. I am harmonious. It says your Aries, you relate to others on, on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. Number 20. Next one you got is number 66. I am positive. Aries, your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. And last but not least, you've got the sacred number of 000. I am a creator. Okay, and it says, Aries, you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So if you see these numbers, this will be a confirmation of your reading here. Okay, so now let's get started with your reading. Your, this reading is for Aries Sun and anywhere that you have Aries in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading uh, resonates, it resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't, then look at other placements on your chart. Okay, and that you can find that at, at uh, astrologycafe.com. You also have astro.com. That's also good. In this reading, I will show you your recent past. I will show you your current energy, your immediate future, what is in from you, and then the possible outcome. Then I will clarify the cards that the Spirit wants me to clarify for you. And after that, whatever signs that show up in your reading will have a bonus round of heart to heart, soul to soul. After the bonus round, I will give you a crystal card, I will give you a sacred geometry card, and last but not least, I will also give you a what the universe wants to relate to you, a universe card, okay? The cards are ready, so let's get started. This card is number one here. All right. Aries. cards fell in the possible outcome so I will have to take it back okay well this card wants to stay here so this will be together we'll take out one more card <clears throat> for the possible outcome okay all right Okay, in the overall energy, you got the Two of Swords. It's about making a decision. It's about opening that heart chakra of yours and making a decision. Okay, the veil, there's a veil over your eyes that needs to be taken out. Okay, for some of you. Now remember, Aries, this reading is about you, right? But feel free to swap the energies if you feel it's about someone else. In the recent past, you got the Four of Pentacles followed by the King of Wands. Well, some of you are holding back or holding on to something here, depending. And uh, But there's some type of action that will take place here. So there is going to be some type of action 
from maybe um, a situation where you've been holding back on. Uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on is the Seven of Cups energy, right? There's a lot of confusion in this situation, maybe a lot of options for you, but there is a need to stay grounded. There was a need to stay grounded, okay? But again, confusion. There's a confusion here in the recent past. In the current energy, you've got the Ten of Cups reversed, followed by the Ten of Wands upright and the King of Swords reversed. Okay, someone here is not communicating. Is Someone here is... Uh, not able being able to find a solution to a situation here someone here can be angry not communicating overthinking over analyzing this can be about a soulmate relationship this can be about a relationship or or it's about your happiness in a situation here where it's been very difficult with the ten of wands and a smack right in the middle of your reading it's been very difficult okay you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders you're tired you're extremely tired but the ten becomes a one so something is going to be released from you you're going to feel this release okay that's being taken in the immediate future you've got the ten, the two of pentacles so some of you are maybe multitasking you're being pulled in two different directions and how you feel and again there's a need to be grounded okay that keeps showing up here for you in the hopes and fears you've got the magician and the world so you are trying to manifest you're trying to release this and manifest your true heart's desire and you did get the world cup so the world cup sorry the world card which talks about completion uh, from life lessons and there's a shift that's going to be taking place. Maybe it's even, you, some of you will not feel it. It can be very subtle, but there is definitely a shift. There's an ending and a new beginning taking place here for you. And what's in from you is the strength card. You've got Leo energy, Aries. Okay, this is about finding the courage, the strength, and the self-confidence. And there's a lot of healing that's taking place in the uh, possible outcome, you have the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are still feeling left out in the dark, ghosted, alone, looking back into the past, okay? Uh, maybe it could be loss of money, loss of a job, could be anything here. You have, uh, there is people here that are wanting to help. There is help, but some of you just are designed to do this by yourself, okay? And what is showing up is that I feel like you're going to be moving past this Five of Pentacles because you got the Star card. It's about finding hope or faith, okay? It's about uh, inspiration and hope. And it's about a, a dream coming true, Aquarian energy, okay? And uh, someone here is still going through a lot of like questioning about whether it's self-love or unconditional love, okay? So there's a, someone here that's going really deep within to find their answers. Now, let's clarify the cards for you, Aries. Let's clarify the two of swords. There is a decision here. Let's see what's going on. We got again the four pentacles. We got the four pentacles twice. The nine of swords reversed. The high priestess reversed. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. The Knight of Wands reversed. And then two other cards follow. But first I will show you these ones that came in, okay? So definitely there's a decision. Something that, you know, you have, some of you have a girl that needs to be released, removed um, here. And um, so it's about holding on to something. Holding on. Whatever it is that you're holding on to, whatever it is, you had a lot of worry in the past. Okay, you were not sleeping. And uh, there is a secret that probably came out. Some type of truth is going to be coming out here that you will know. And also, it's about following your intuition. And so you maybe couldn't follow your intuition at that time because you were overthinking, worried, you were tired, and not taking action in a situation. But what's showing up is that they show me that you've been working on yourselves. Now again, Aries, this is your reading, right? But if you don't feel this is about you, then feel free to swap the energies around if it's about somebody else, okay? But I see that with the Nine of Pentacles, you've been working on yourself. You've been working hard here. Very self-sufficient, very independent. 
and with the Queen of Pentacles here, you are sturdy, okay, grounded, um, successful, victorious energy, being uh, security and reliable, reliability. So it's, it shows that there's a there's some type of shift that you you are going get, definitely going through. So now let's look at the four pentacles in the recent past here. Okay, why is the four pentacles here for Aries? You got the nine of cups reversed, the nine of swords reversed, and what else did you get? The Eight of Cups energy with the King of Cups upright. Some of you may, okay, now again, this could be you're holding on to something or someone or holding back how you truly feel. Whatever the case here, this there's a wish fulfillment here that's coming in for you. Uh, some of you are expecting, were expecting some type of message to come in, did not come in, okay, delayed. And I do see someone walking away. So definitely someone is walking away, but they're still stuck in their emotions as well. Okay, uh, but uh, walking away to find their not their Ten of Cups energy. And with the King of Cups energy here upright, it shows me that there is someone that's emotionally available. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be this sign. But this is someone that is very available. They have a lot of wisdom. They're able to articulate. They're able to communicate. There's a lot of wisdom with this individual, whoever this is. Now let's look at this King of Wands. Oh, the King of Wands, sorry, it's the King of Wands. That was the Knight. This is the King of Wands. Yes, there's action, definitely, and someone going after what they want here. Okay, so I got the King of Cups and the King of Wands, Sagittarius Leo or Aries energy. This could be you. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man, if you're a king or a queen. It's the energy of this. Okay, this is after going after what you want with passion, with fury. So let's look at this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Hangman. Whatever that, uh, whatever the situation that took place here, it uh, be you became more aware of a situation. You, uh, you awoke, a lot of you had awakened through a situation here. Uh, you've been putting a lot of energy in something, Aries, and you're trying to perfect it, working late hours at night or long hours trying to perfect something you're putting a lot of energy into. You've been putting a lot of patience into it as well, moderating your life. And um, maybe some of you uh, were dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm just giving the sign. And the hangman reverse is that uh, you were in the cocoon stage and you surrendered into a butterfly. So definitely there's a spiritual awakening that's taking place here in the recent past, a spiritual awakening and surrendering. Now, let's look at the Seven of Cups here, okay? You have a lot of goals and aspiration, which is great, um, but there is confusion. Let's see what they're showing here. They're showing here the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Chariot, the Queen of Wands reversed with the Two of Wands, okay? So the Queen of Wands energy, someone here is very frustrated, bitter, frustrated, yeah, bitter, frustration, uh, very angry, not in their element as the Queen of Wands reversed, or not finding passion or motivation in a situation here, okay, with the Queen of Wands reversed. And there was a lot of uh, maybe confusion, fighting with the Five of Wands, drama, okay, a lot of jealousy in the situation. You've been carrying a lot on your shoulders with the Ten of Wands, okay, the Ten of Wands comes in twice for you in your reading where you've been carrying a lot and you're tired. You're really tired, okay? And you need to really rest here. Um, too much on your shoulders. The 10 becomes a one. Whenever you've been making plans in your near future, okay? Uh, maybe at one point, uh, in, um, you know, you were making plans determined, but something was still holding you back. But here, what I'm seeing with the chariot is that you reclaimed your power. You took control and you're moving forward in a positive manner with ambition, willpower. And there's positive news here. Okay, there's definitely positive news of moving forward away from, like moving away from this type of energy that was weighing you down. Now, let's look at the current energy. In the current energy, you've got the Ten of Cups reversed. So let's look at the Ten of Cups reversed here. Again, you've got the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups reversed. There's a new emotion, whatever this, whatever this uh, um, 
emotional experience here. Maybe you have a child around you that's not, at this time, is very moody and is not able to be in their emotions. They're very having a hard time with their emotions. This could be your inner child that needs healing. There's someone here definitely that's not emotionally available, okay? Someone here that cannot give love or receive it at this time. They need to work on themselves. There's a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion in this situation. And the Ten of Cups reversed. Again, it's about maybe for some of you, a, a relationship that's going through a, lot, a rocky time. There's a lot of emotions attached to it. Okay. And a lot of confusion. Now let's look at this King of Swords reversed in your current energy. You got the Two of Cups reversed, Justice reversed, Libra energy as well. You got Libra. Something is definitely not in balance here. Some of you are not able to find a solution to a, a situation. There's anger, there's frustrations. Um, someone cut off, I'll be cut out somebody, someone that's not speaking. Let's see what else here. Whatever this connection is for you. You've got the King of Swords reversed, Three of Swords. So there is some type of heartbreak around you. Some of you are heartbroken. There could be a loss here. There is grief. Okay, there is grief in a situation. Um, so someone here is going through in the current energy, releasing whatever this connection was. There could be lies and deception as well. Something is definitely out of balance here. And there could be sorrow, loss, heartbroken. But what I do see with the King of Swords, it came up right again. That means that there will be a time well where with the King of Swords upright and you've got the King of Cups upright and the King of Wands upright, is that you're gonna find a solution. You're gonna, there's gonna be like a clearing and it's about finding solutions and it's about communication and it's about, you know, a lot of creative ideas and taking a stand for yourself. Okay, now let's look at the 10 of Wands in the middle of your reading. You've got the Four of Cups reversed The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords upright, and the Ace of Cups. There's some type of acceptance. It could be rejection or someone not wanting to see something, but acceptance is the key to transformation. So there's some type of acceptance with the Ten of Wands where something has been very difficult. There's been difficult obstacles in a situation. And the King and Queen is coming front to front, head to head. Right, the queen of of uh, of swords. She is more of, or he or he or she is more of, uh, where they're um, they're guarding themselves. You know, they're they're blocking, uh, they're they're thinking logically about a situation, and they're able to cut out people or situations. But someone here is coming head to head, trying to have have this conversation, and with the Ace of Cups, this talks about abundance, and it's right in the middle of your reading. And it's affecting everything here in the so there is definitely abundance around you or will be this is about forgiveness it's about unconditional love it's about peace but it's happening now let's look at the two of pentacles we need in the future you got the sun the tower and the eight of swords so a lot of you Okay, are being pulled in two different directions, maybe multitasking. Okay, and you're feeling stuck, overthinking about a situation. Well, the tower is coming in to change things, and it's for the positive. Okay, so Pluto is here to change things for you, and it's for the positive. So there's going to be happiness all around you. And it touches also the Ace of Cups, and it, then it also touches the Chariot card and the strength card and because a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening now let's look at the world card and the magician in the hopes and fears you got the star aquarius the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles your hopes and fears yeah you know there's a completion you're manifesting your wishes whatever this is there is a dream coming true for you. There is a desire that you do really want. It's about having faith and hope, inspiration. And it's about a, 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 a dream coming true for you, Aquarian energy. You got the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. There's a strong foundation here. It's a, and it's a cooperating at this time. 
With the Ten of Pentacles, it's about the fruit of life. It could be a, a brand new start in some type of, um, you know, like uh, in, in a, whatever it is. It could be about two people coming together, right? And having that stability. It could be about a project that you're working on that's going to be bringing you to your retirement. Now, let's look at what is in from you. You've got the Strength card. Let's look at what else. The Strength card, Leo. You got the strength card twice. Look at this. Some of you have Leo rising, Leo, uh, Leo sun, and no, sorry, Aries sun, Leo rising, and Leo moon. But definitely a beautiful healing here. Beautiful healing. It's about having the strength, having the courage, the self confidence, and taming something within you. The five of pentacles, the shadow side. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, there's a story here. Hold on. Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And a Page of Pentacles. Okay. Whatever this is, wherever this person is, someone here is definitely feeling left out in the dark, ghosted, abandoned. Okay. Or lack of something with the Five of Pentacles. Someone here is being pulled in two different directions. Probably multitasking. Someone here feels defeated. And someone here is in their shadow self. There's a lot of work that's being done on the shadow self. A lot of healing. Okay. And what it shows is a promise is that with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, the pages are all about beginnings taking place. Okay. So there's going to be some type of offer here. There could also be some type of someone coming in to say they're sorry. But there's a new way of communicating, seeing things, perceiving things, creative ideas, aha moments. But definitely here, this is something online for some of you. And someone's coming in with some type of proposal. Not a proposal, but some type of offer. Now, let's look at the possible outcome. You've got the Five of Pentacles. Let's look at this Five of Pentacles here. The Moon. The Three of Wands. Let's look at the star. Let's look at the star. Why is the star card here? You got Jupiter. You came into your own reading, Aries. Beautiful. Okay. Someone here has a lot of fears about money or just a lot of fears, period. They're going through difficult moments. Neptune energy is here. Um, you know, it's revealing, um, it's about not seeing what's in front of you uh, or the, you know, some of you are walking and on uh, uncertain territories right now. Okay, so there's a lot of fears or energy going around this feeling really in the low vibrational energy. But what is being shown to me is the moon is also about receiving what's yours. And with the three of wands, your manifestations, whatever that you ask for is coming in for you. Okay, definitely here passing through, moving through all of this situation and with the Aquarian card Aquarius the star you got the wheel of fortune and you came into your own reading or you're dealing with another Aries okay this is about commitment a job love whatever this is for you it's about setting new boundaries new rules okay it's about a dream coming true this is your journey or your purpose and the wheel of fortune is here with Jupiter giving you a second chance okay if you want it it's there for you this is destined and faded, and there's luck around you. Beautiful. And underneath the deck is the Four of Swords. So definitely here, there's someone here that is at this time healing. In this healing process, they're, they're starting to see the clarity of everything around them. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Aries. And now we're going to look at what signs showed up in your reading. I will also show you the planets that are affecting, especially those of you that follow your chart, okay? So, let's see what's going on here for you. Just give me a moment to...
Okay. So first, I will give you which of the planets that maybe that you have a conjunction, sextile, or a square with. You could check that on uh, astrologycafe.com or astro.com, okay? Uh, it's very easy to learn about. It's so important, uh, the planets, what, uh, you know, the planets are like, it's very important to learn about your chart because you will see more and more of what's taking place with your readings and what's happening in your life, okay? So the planets that are affecting you at this time um, is the south node in Sagittarius, Mars, Neptune, Lilith, Pluto, and Jupiter, okay? Now, uh, we have, we're going to do the bonus of heart to heart, soul to soul. So, I will always have to repeat myself because there's a lot of people that are new here and uh, they will, you know, I have to remind them what this is all about or tell them. So heart to heart, soul to soul, it's once people are having a hard time sometimes, not everybody is able to be vulnerable, right? Because they're scared of rejection or being hurt. This could be about yourself. This could be your chart. This could be someone, you giving a message to someone or someone giving a message to you. This could be about someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. This could be about your children, your family, your mother, your father. It could be about your better half, your soulmate, your husband or wife. Whatever this has to do with, okay? It could be about anybody. It could be about also someone that crossed over as well, okay? So you will have to trust your intuition on this one. are ready and now what we're gonna do I'm gonna do one by one right so Aries if you're dealing with an Aquarius okay if you're dealing with an Aquarius they're in denial. You hit me out of nowhere. You are twin flames. I am making plans. I don't want to let you down. They're fantasizing. They're compassionate. They're calm. And they have good intentions. And they have gratitude. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, Aries, they're guarded. You were so unexpected. I'm afraid to trust. They're honest. You are old flames. They're daydreaming. They have regret. Anything else for Libra? No, they don't feel they don't feel like communicating. So that's it for Libra. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Aries. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I'm trying to figure things out. They're nervous. Your word your words speak to me like no others can. They're frustrated. They're hopeful. I've been having weird dreams about us. I don't care what people think anymore. I am overthinking everything. They are safe, they are stressed, and they have envy. I can't stop thinking of you. I don't know, I don't want to miss my chance with you if you're dealing with a Pisces, all right? That was for Pisces. If you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, a Leo, you're anxious. They're apologetic. I just want to go back in time. They're indecisive. They're loving. Trust me. I am sorry I triggered you. You changed my whole direction. You are the only one who truly gets me. 
there is joy and they're feeling nostalgic if you're dealing with a Leo. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Aries, <clears throat> I am working on myself. I want your attention. You're feeling nostalgic. You're hard to forget. They're controlling. If I had only known then what I know now, it's hard for me to explain things. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. I'm ready for more than just text messages. Our eye contact is insane. I just need more time. I regret how I handled things before. Anything else for cancer? That's it for cancer. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, no one else matters now. They're bitter. They're annoyed. They have shame. I am overcoming my fears. They have resentment. They're cold. I won't let you go. Anything else for Aquarius? Yes. I remember everything you said. That's it for Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, they're feeling wishy-washy. Be patient with me, please. I want to talk to you. Wait for me. They have repressing emotions. There's a secret there. They're feeling stuck. They're blocking. They're feeling triggered. They have guilt. Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. Well, we have a soul recognition. They have repressed emotions and they're feeling distant if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Last but not least, if you're dealing with another Aries or this is about you, Aries, and how you're feeling. I want a future with you. The changes are real. They're excited. My karmic story is ending. I want to be vulnerable with you. They're feeling passionate. They also have fear. They also have confusion. Anything else for Aries? They're also bored. They can have guilt. They're angry. They're annoyed. Anything else for Aries? We will be together again. I miss you more than you know. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. I am choosing you. This is for Aries. Okay, so this is the ending of the bonus round. Now, let's look at the crystals that you will need for this week and for as long as you need them. Shrysocola, Shrysocola, and the healing properties it aids serenity, acceptance, and inner strength. It helps to heal inharmonious relationships. It dissolves negative energy and phobias, embodies feminine energy. It releases feelings of guilt and brings harmony, promotes inner balance and confidence. And this is associated with the third eye chakra, throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the solar plexus and the sacral. So the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, and the sacral chakra. It calms and cleanses the ener uh, cleanses and energizes the aura, opens the third eye chakra, heals heartache, improves communication, and releases negative feelings. So Shrysocola is your crystal for the week. And now we're going to look at sacred geometry.
You got number two, which is a master number, and you got Dream Weaver. So let's look at it together. Please take a screenshot of this card. And also, for some of you, you can keep it on your wallpaper, on your phone, or also maybe if you could trace it, okay? Trace it on a piece of paper, on trace paper. And this is about laying foundations and manifestation. And your affirmation is, I'm in full control of my life, which allows me to manifest my dreams and desires. I am in full control of my life, which allows me to manifest my dreams and desires, and so it is. You have pulled this card today because it's time it's time you create some firm boundaries in your life, but first you must surrender your fear of making mistakes. Dreamweaver will help you create strong foundations and balance, which will help you on your path. By taking back your power, you will regain a sense of balance and re realize where you've been limiting yourself. It's time to take charge of your life and manifest your dreams and desires. Place this template in the wealth corner of your home or business and grid accordingly. The wealth corner is the farthest left corner from front from your front door or any given room. All right. Allow the vibration of this card to work with you to manifest your dreams and desires while with intention bringing in the money needed to help keep you supported. You can place words on this template such as money comes to me easily, freely and frequently. Remember, asking for this guidance without putting in the hard yards won't work. Okay, and the crystals you could use is citron, smoky quartz, cinnabar, carnelian, or moss, agate. Again, citron, smoky quartz, cinnabar, carnelian, and moss, agate. So you got dream weaver. Beautiful. Now we're going to look at, uh, last but not least, take a card from the universe. to see what the universe has in store for you. Eighteen, shine love on fear. Shine love on fear. Lo love will light up the darkness, Aries. Love will light up the darkness. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Aries. Don't forget to comment, like, and share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and love you. And remember, love always wins. Love has won. Okay, and we are one. Please take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.